Hey, if you like what you see so far, please be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and click that notification bell so I can annoy you at least once a week. So in a previous video, I explained how a two-stage pump works that is commonly used on logs, whether mine included. All right, so the two-stage pump has two pumps in it and either one will work or they will both work together. And what happens is, is I'm going up to the log. I want all the flow I can have, but I don't need all the pressure that goes with it. So as the cylinder is moving towards the workpiece, we want to move as fast as we can to save time. And that's with the two-stage pump when both sides of the pump are pumping together and you get a large flow. But it's internally limited to a low pressure, so you can't really do any work with it. It's just moving um, towards the, the, the log. So when we get to the log, we want to have all that pressure so we can do the move. And at that point, we're going to drop out the second pump and only be using a small pump to build total pressure all the way up. So when that second pump drops out, you're going to see the workpiece move a lot slower and it'll build up that pressure and use that to split the log. And you may even notice that as it's splitting, it'll speed back up because it doesn't need all that force again and it picks up the second pump. So let's get a little... So let me show you exactly how this works by splitting the log. how it's done. You can see in the stroke there that it's going pretty good and then it, it slowed down when it hit the work base. And then as soon as it split, we can speed up again. So that's what a two-stage pump does and uh, very efficient. Still only using a five horsepower engine. So a lot of efficiency, a lot of production, uh, with not much horsepower and you save that money on gas. Now be sure to take a second and like, share, and subscribe to this video. Appreciate you doing that.